Good morning, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comics in Five Minutes. Probably going to notice straight away that we are not in a comic book store. Uh, yeah, that's because it's Monday and Monday's my day off. But there's so many things that uh, there's so many things that came out uh, this last week uh, that there's no way I was going to get through them. I even did like um, um, multiple reviews a day at some point to try and get through them, and I still didn't have time to read uh, Gillan March's latest uh, Carmen. Um, by the way, apologies if the sound quality and the picture quality aren't as good. My home laptop is nowhere near as good as my work one, so we kind of just have to put up with it. Um, but there we go. Um, so, why did I, why did I pick uh, Gillan March's car as my very last one? Well, I've read something else uh, with uh, Gillan March recently. He did the artwork for the uh, Joker uh, issue one. Uh, what well, did it for the main part of it? I think they got somebody else in for the uh, punchline bit. Uh, but I did thoroughly enjoy his artwork. Um, and it was really nice to see him thoroughly embrace the uh, the craziness of the horror that you can do with the Joker. I mean, not just the Joker, there's also some straight-out body horror as well, which is kind of nice to see. Um, and he's very, very good at it. Uh, but straight off the bat with this one, my uh, taste on the artwork was very, very different. Still loved it, don't get me wrong. Hugely, hugely talented person. But it was more the background stuff, the grabbed hold of me and would not stop me just taking time and going back and looking at it um first kind of like full panel of story um try best as you can see that with the poor camera i've got here but just the detail in this is outstanding um and it carries on throughout until you get right to the very end in fact um and again we have just that cityscape at the bottom there it's good enough that you just can't help but pay attention and realize what a great bit of art that is and how well uh, perspective is used not to do anything like amazing and out of the ordinary it's not like the intent is to go oh my god look how amazing oh my god i can't stop it's more just a full-on practical look at how good uh, an artist gill and march is um and he does this throughout um and it is far more realistic like i said than uh, the joke stuff um there's a lot less caricatures and well there's a couple of bits in there uh, a particular bit with a little old lady um which is done very very well uh because you get to see just how he uses um over the top expressions to you to show age quite nicely um so look, pretty much every page every panel's got something cool about the artwork uh, the design of the main character carmen in fact is fantastic the uh, uh, floating ethereal skeleton in uh, an almost imperceptible human form um, is brilliant because you occasionally see details of the human form outside the skeleton. But then the angles that they're using, um, like uh, looking down as she's flying upwards, uh, and the gaps you can see through the rib cage, even again, the detailing, it, it'd be impossible to do something like this unless you were absolutely committed to it. Um, and yes, Gillamot does it to perfection. Now, on to the rest of the comic book. To say it's about a, a semi-ethereal angel dealing with some uh, extrasensory stuff where people are going on planar journeys, it is weirdly down to earth. Um, and I first, like, I thought to myself, this might not be something that's going to hold my attention because it is just a little bit, I don't know, a bit too realistic. It, the story, I mean, not the angels. Um, but then it goes, it was like, no, actually. When it comes to movies and TV shows, a lot of the stuff I keep going back to are very down to earth. They are very a day in the life of stories. And don't get me wrong, it's like it's all I like. Also, really enjoyed Edge of the Spider Verse. Uh, but it's hard to deny that that kind of just real life slice of life does get me. It's is something intriguing to see it presented in ways um, that I'm not used to seeing. Uh, my own life is my own. I live in my own way, and absolutely no reason to think that everyone else is exactly the same as me. But without this kind of experience with the people writing from their point of view, you're never going to see it. And uh, weirdly, this is what this does, and it does it really, really effectively. Um, it takes people's lives, um, and takes bits of them out from a, a larger context to show you how a story can develop and how a personality can develop uh, without really showing you everything. Uh, it actually spends quite a long time just dealing with um, character development on two main characters, one mainly being Karma, uh, Carmen, and Karma keeps coming to my head about that's what her real name is, um, and Catalina. Um, and you get like a really good sense of who they are because of that. Uh, you get a sense of their sense of humours uh, and how they uh, respond to the world, what their backgrounds have done to turn them into who they are now, more Catalina than Carmen on that one, but you still get it there. Um, and, and by the way, the sense of humour for it is actually brilliant. There's, there's some genuinely heartwarming moments in here where you just can't help but smile, even laugh out loud a little bit. It's brilliantly well written, um, and it looks fantastic. 
and it's got a sense of groundedness when you also have people literally flying or swimming through the air, as I put it. But the thing that really got me, the thing that made me think this is something that I will want to carry on reading, um, if not in single issues, maybe wait for the trade to come out, it's the dissection very early on, a couple of uh, full pages. just talking about dreams and how uh, they affect us when we wake up and how what we remember them like shapes how we think of dreams and how it affects our own reality. Uh, and I know, as I've really mentioned earlier, uh, everyone's life is different. Everyone experiences things in different ways. But it was kind of nice to see somebody talking about dreams in the same way that affects me um, and makes me think that maybe I'm not alone in um, how unusual it is to wake up and remember things which are that weird uh, and then trying to compartmentalize and into things which should make sense to me now I'm awake forgetting the things that made the dream uh, much more vibrant because they don't make any sense to a, the real world. Uh, and that sense of unreality bending and warping to fit reality uh, definitely is, a I think, that's running through the entire comic book. Um, so, yeah, there's an awful lot going on. Uh, and I'm well over time, um, but there's an awful lot to talk about for this one. Uh, definitely check it out if you fancy something intriguing and different. It certainly covers all the bases for that one. Uh, right, that's it for me. I'm back into shop tomorrow, so you get a slightly better video uh, when I do my new comic book day one. So until then, take it easy. Stay safe. Bye. End.